Welcome back. Today we're playing with the Mitzi and uh, we've got an interesting fault here. Uh, we got 1225, I don't know what that is, but the 220 is throttle pedal sensor circuit B malfunction. And let me check the freeze frame. That is uh, freeze frame. So it was running and it was running while she was driving, so 50 kph, 49 kph. And uh, but we need to find what the 1225 is. Let me find that on the internet and we'll come back. Okay, we found it says close throttle position learning performance problem. So, what we most likely have is um, a throttle body which is dirty because. Um, Knowing the coking and excessive um, EGR problems of these engines, it's a, it's a, it's a 4 G94 engine, a 2 liter GDI, and uh, that's uh, that's pointing in that direction. The problem is you can't really get there; it's all crappy. So let's check if there was any animals here chewing on the wires. But I can't see anything. So yeah, we need to take the cover off and have a look inside. Uh, it can be loose connector, but uh, possibilities are high that this throttle body is just dirty because the first one. It's a bit strange because the first one is throttle pedal position sensor switch B circuit malfunction. So the question is, is it a pedal? Because it's got an electronic pedal. Uh, or is it, according to this one, control actuator? All right, let me take the cover off. I think I've got an idea what it is. I know it's a little bit dark here, but this is actually the, the position sensor for the throttle body. The butterfly is here and that's the sensor. So, worst case, it's just a pro connection. Uh, let's pull the connector and have a look. The cable work looks all right. It doesn't look chewed up, so... Never know what sort of animals running around here, but uh, let me get that connector off and have a, have a quick look. Uh, I probably it's a lot of nuts and bolts, but yeah, it's only this one, this one, and this one, and then the whole thing comes off. I think we'll take that off for a second and uh, have a look at the throttle body. Maybe it's just sticky, or who knows? We'll find out. So we got it off and it looks reasonably clean because I cleaned it some time ago. So but what I've noticed is that the zero position is quite springy actually. So okay, let me take the let me take the plug off and uh, see what we find. I was expecting a lot more dirt there, but that was a clean towel here, so it's not too bad. <coughs> well, I still need to do the intakes because I'm pretty sure the valves are clogged up like hell. And uh, like that. Could do with a little bit of a clean, but it's 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 fairly clean actually. So whatever, let's take the plug off and look how this looks like because there might be some corrosion. Well, the plug looks good. It's dry. Gasket is there. Even even this one looks good. No corrosion. 
It can be the sensor. I wonder why it's only got four wires. Maybe it's got a common... Uh, to get it out you need to pull this spring out here. It's held down here and then you push it down and pull it back to get under, get over these little lugs here. But for me it looks good. So what we're going to do, we check it with a, with a meter if there's any drops. And uh, that's it. You can't do much more except changing it. But uh, let's figure out where the connections are and then if we move the throttle body we should see some movement. And if there is one, one track, because there's always two for safety reasons. If one track doesn't work or has dropped out, we know what the problem is, we need a new sensor. I don't know what the exact sensor value is going to be, but uh, they're usually somewhere between 5 and 20 kilo ohms. So all we do is checking resistance here. And that's 1 kilo ohm. That's 2 kilo ohm. That's 2. So it's a, probably a 2.5 kilo ohm sensor. Um, I need two hands. Let me, let me check that out. And uh, we'll come back when we figure out what is what. So it looks like one sensor with, or one, yeah, one sensor with one supply and multiple tracks. So because if we move the throttle body slowly, we should not see any dropouts here. And that looks good to me. So this is fully closed. At the moment it's a little bit open, but two and a half kilo ohms. So let's go to the next one. That seems to be the supply. So the first and the third is the supply. I don't know which is ground and which is pause, I don't know. But apparently this one is going upwards. Close this point eight. Fully open this. And yeah, it's it's alright. There's nothing wrong with the sensor so far. Uh, let's see from the other side. just moving the throttle butterfly by hand and all we look is is there any drop in resistance so that means does it go high at any point but it doesn't so for me the sensor looks fine let me try this one this side here so then this is the upgoing sensor and apparently it's a problem in the idle position so it says the yeah, idle learning difficulties. So yeah, could be dirt, but the sensor is good. So we can rule out the sensor itself. It can still be the wire. And this one looks a bit weird here. Someone had his fingers in here. Someone was looking at that before. You can see the wire is pinched. So someone was measuring here. Maybe you had the problem before, so because you never know, it could be somewhere in the in the in the loom. Um, all I can say, sensor is fine. So what's left? It's the loom itself and the uh, and the connector, or the other side on the ECU pro connection over there. So what we're going to do? We give it a proper clean on on the back side. So push the push the butterfly fully open Let's see if we can get some light in there because we can see there is some residual dirt sorry my torch has a problem you can see that so there's a black some black surroundings here so maybe it was just a bit sticky because it, it basically happened she, she drove out of the driveway and it happened down the road so and the, the engine was cold so there are further possibilities, but mechanical, I'm not sure, except the motor has a problem. That's another story. So the motor is electrically okay, but doesn't do the full turn anymore. But from what I can see, it's moving quite easily. Uh, yeah, there is still a possibility where the motor is. That's probably the motor here. Probably we check that connection as well. Yeah, that's the throttle motor here. Let's check that connection as well, just in case there is something. 
on that one because if the motor is electrically okay but doesn't move um, or has poor connection eventually uh, it may cause the same problem let me check that well the motor connector looks good as well wiring looks okay there's nothing bad here uh, this connector you could just press that flap here that little sorry it's darker now uh, just press the little flap and pull it out so we've got quite bumpy roads here so who knows lots of potholes and things like that so i would say the sensor is the position sensor is fine so all we do is put the look back and it's fine when you put the bridge back don't forget the vent hose here um, yeah so let's clear it for now and see if it comes back because it runs but it runs in limp mode so uh, not much i can find here we need to do a service soon anyway so it's just past mot with not much on it basically just the parking brake as usual because it's an auto and you ne never use the parking brake so yeah it's a 52 plate that makes it a 2002 uh, got about 60,000 miles on the clock so we know the intake manifold is full of shit there is no question but that means we need to take the whole lot off I need a set of gaskets to get into it and uh, give that bastard a clean uh, needs a timing belt as well it's time to do that just checking the belt tension that looks okay all right let's put it back together and uh, clear it give it a try see what it does before you put the bridge back on always have a look inside if there is any oil or dirt or something but it looks good so just put that little bastard back. Uh, I need two hands for the screws. And then we'll run it and see how it looks like. Another one with the bolts. You got a short one here, this length, short one here, short one on the back. But this one is a long one. It's gonna go here. So all back together. Uh, don't tighten them like hell they, they just need to hold that plastic part I'll leave the cover off now because I hate ancient covers they just a pain in the neck because you always have to take them off I know they they're there for the noise but who cares when this engine rub, rattles like a diesel anyway so let's check the oil oil level is good we need some oil change anyway pretty soon Okay, so let's see what it does. We have to look at the faults first, though, otherwise we can't clear them. So we're gonna clear them. Yes, we are sure. And the light is the light is off. So let's turn the ignition off because you always have to cycle the ignition when you do that, and then wait until it's back to life. Uh, crank it and then we'll probably need to scan again because the power is gone okay. yeah so the faults are clear responding to the throttle we have no faults so let's see what we have here I don't know what we got here it's actually running closed loop already so look like they look okay
can do no, I just need to reset. All we can do is waiting and see when she comes back from work tomorrow. Just check if there was a freeze frame or not. It's okay, there's, there's no delay and idle control looks good, so there is... Release it very slowly. Yeah, it comes back to idle, so... Looks good to me. I'm just going to do a test drive tomorrow and we'll see what comes out of it. That's it from this so far. Oh. Idle should be around about 750, 800 I think. And uh, looking good so far. So I can't see anything wrong. Error doesn't come back. So all you can do is run it. Alright, that's it. So, me. checking the Mitsu here. see if there is any faults from the throttle issue we had recently but she said it was running okay so we'll see no faults okay that's looking good okay, look at that as far as fine oxygen sensor is fine Looking good. Okay. So, whatever we did, it helped. Uh, perhaps it was cleaning, perhaps it was the plug, I can't really tell. But uh, she said, it's okay. Uh, it didn't do it again. So, that's it from this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time.